Welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I am here with baby Noah Pooh. Noah is the Willow Scope by Claire Teller. He is the prototype number two, means that he was painted, rooted, sculpted, totally completed by Claire Teller Dolls. Um, and I am going to get him changed out. Um, I have gotten several uh, private requests for to see Noah Poo because I didn't realize that you guys hadn't seen him in so long because I guess I've just been excited about, you know, painting and, you know, the new babies that's coming in and the new kits that I've been getting in. And so I guess I've been more on the painting side of things and I kind of lost track. So let's get him changed. I had forgot that I had pulled out this outfit that um, his auntie Cree sent. Um, Kaysen's mom, she had sent this little outfit with the long sleeves and little joggers. And I had said that I was going to put him on that. And then I forgot. And then I went and got this little sleeper, this little Carter sleeper that I had. Um, that I had bought for him a while back. It's three month. I don't know if it's going to be, see like this is three month and it fits him perfect. This is three months and it looks like it's going to be too big. I don't know, but I'm going to hold on to it. Um, I like things with snaps versus zippers. So I, I had to grab that anytime and they have elephants and I love elephants. Anytime that they have anything with snaps on it, I try to get it versus you know sleepers with the zippers but i do i have bought some with the zippers and i'll probably you'll probably see me mostly put those on my reborns versus my silicone i i have this crazy feeling about the zipper i always think that the zipper is gonna um scratch the silicone or something but it really the way they have it made it shouldn't um because it usually have cloth in between so, um, but that's just me and my pair of Noah. Um, Noah is the only baby that I have in silicone today. Um, that may change later today as I'm expecting a kit in the mail. And um, I will open that one up probably in the chatter box. And then I will reveal that baby on the Gym Pop once it's painted. Um, but I'm only opening, I usually, I, I like to open my, my babies up. It's a very good thing to do when you're buying. Um, it's a record of receipt and it also shows exactly how the baby came to you. So it's always good to record and it's even better when it's live. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I am going to do that. And then, um, what was I going to say? I'm going to do that, and then I will have more than one silicone. But right now, I only have this one, one silicone baby. I'm expecting three more. Um, the next baby is definitely going to be, should be really fun to paint as it will be, um, definitely, I will definitely be experimenting on color to prepare myself for the next, the following baby. Um, and then one baby is completed, which I've already told you guys all of this. I don't know why I repeated that, but yeah, one baby is complete, already complete completed that I'm expecting and but I'm expecting that I may darken the baby up when it arrives but who knows if if I like it the way it is when it gets here I won't touch it I know that's a golden rule but we'll talk about that later we'll see how it goes um but yeah it's just been really exciting I'm um I actually got up early just to you know paint a little bit on 
my uh, matting. He's so gorgeous. Him still Mama Puka Luke. <laughs> I'm still Mama Puka Luke. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful baby. Beautiful sculpting, beautiful baby, beautiful work. Um, you know, I I can't get enough of this sculpt. Um, he's it's just an amazing sculpt. And, um, you know, I, I'm one of those people that, you know, I do have to interact with my, my, my dolls. Um, try not to show his everything. I do have to interact with my dolls, but I don't have to interact daily. Crap, my battery's gonna die. I don't have to interact daily I'm gonna have to I'm gonna pause here that's a stupid battery um but anyway yeah so I me in this diaper um I don't have to interact daily with my dolls to enjoy them um and a lot of times my schedule is very busy and Especially right now, I'm trying to really get these these um, kits painted and out of here. Um, because I know that I have all these silicone babies coming. And silicone is like a different medium and it's a different concentration. And it's just, you know, it's just a lot with the um, the silicone. And I, I like to have full concentration on it. So I'm trying to get the babies ready. I'm not going to rush their job, the paint jobs on them though. So <laughs> look at this little boy. But um but yeah, he got lint from the hat he was wearing. So yeah, so I'm 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 trying to get that done. Get, you know, so I haven't really interacted with you know, Noah because Noah is a special baby and he He's the only baby that, that stays in the room with me. So, um, I don't, I see him every day. I look at him, but I I haven't touched him in a, in a lot, long time. Well, not a long time, but I changed him a few times off camera, but I've really just been busy painting and stuff like that. Look at him. I'm so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Man. If I had all the money in the world, I promise you I would buy the um I would buy a prototype of the weight baby of this baby. But not gonna happen. And I won't say though, I won't say that, you know, buying three and four other babies is a replacement of one baby because you can't replace this kind of sculpting and painting um, like that. Um, I am just basically buying other babies because I like them and I want to try you know, I want to see what's out there. I want to be able to be um, experienced with multiple, you know, painting style, you know, painting styles and different um, people's silicone blends because the paint goes on differently, just like it does with vinyl. For people that paint vinyl, you'll under you'll know what I'm talking about with different vinyls. Um, the paint takes differently, so it makes it different how the outcome of the color comes out. Sometimes you have to lay it, you have to, you know, use different techniques on certain vinyl. Um, so, you know, I can't, if I want to learn to paint silicone, I gotta, you know, kind of look at what's out there. And even though, like I said, the next baby is a completed baby, Unless it looks a little different than it does in the pictures, 
I'm expecting to to touch it a little bit. So, you know, that's that's the only way we learn is, you know, by experience. Well, for me. So, um that's where I'm at with that. The, you know, and I want different size babies in my thing, but it's no way to replace um being able to um afford you know these babies because you know these babies are in a league all by themselves and that's no disrespect to other sculptors or other artists but you know it's just like me i i can't sit here and pretend that i'm on a master artist level i mean it is what it is somebody say you know i'm looking for you know this masterpiece of a from a master artist you know i'm not gonna be um offended i know where my levels are i know where my strength are and it's not gonna take away from me because i have you know my clientele and i have my following of people that likes my work so um but i mean claire Taylor sculpting is 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 unmatched the only person i feel like that could that could and I can't even say that totally but I as far as because I've never seen them sculpt like a full body baby but the only person I think um sculpting um would be a, a real real matchup with Claire Teller is Bonnie Brown that's just my honest opinion because I've seen so much of her work that her sculpting is amazing and I've seen her do so many portraits and stuff and you know she's sculpting because some people do portraits and the babies look nothing like the portrait and um, some people nail it um, but yeah and then everybody likes different stuff so that's that um, but nevertheless you know, there's like, like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of talent out here and I don't want to limit myself in 2020 to one particular artist. So I am branching out and looking at other things and never know what you might find. I, I did that before at one point, believe it or not, I had no interest in, um, some of these artists work. I didn't I didn't like the babies that they had out but I took a chance on one when I when one grabbed my attention and then I became addicted to it so you just never know you never know what you might like up close and personal right now I'm looking for I had a um really wanted a tiny baby in my collection, look at him. Oh my God. If you guys can see his, the way he's, like, when he was leaning. Oh my God, y'all can't see it. But if y'all can see the way his hand naturally goes to his face, like a real baby, it was just so cute. Like, uh. <laughs> oh my God. And the way he wrinkles up, he's just, it's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, man, I'm excited for my friends that's going to get the, um, the willow awake. You guys are going to be in such a treat. If you guys thought the tape and sage was nice, you guys have no idea. This, this, the willows, hands down, is the best. I'm telling you, the willows. The Willows is 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 my all-time favorite. And I used to one of the other bodies that I used to love was Zoe. But this is it for me. This this is it. And I'm not one to want multiple babies in my collection like the with the same body, same face, stuff like that, but I will be honest to say that I could be like some I see some of these people that have one sculpt and they have it like in different shades and all I would literally click this baby multiple times. Um, 
I wish that I had another Willow Asleep kit for my personal collection. That's how much I love this gold. And we're not even getting into the painting. I'm just talking about the sculpt itself. I am in love with the sculpt. I really am. Oh my gosh, she looks so good in this outfit. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so cute in this outfit. Oh, I gotta get you some socks on. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I gotta take him some pictures. He looks so cute. <laughs> Guys, this baby looks so cute in this. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at, look, look at, look at this. <gasps> Are you so sleep? Am I so sleep, mama? Look. Am I so sleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. We did sit up and watch um, Puck on San San channel or San San or I think I forget how she pronounced it, but uh, we did um, we did watch say we watch we watch Puck on there because he missed his Puck a Puck. <laughs> So we um did that. I, maybe I've I've got a little manic because of that too. I thought about that. I said maybe I'm I'm acting kind of crazy. Like I need a baby because Puck left. And, you know I lost I lost Alex. I lost Puck. You know I've I've lost you know two major special babies. So yeah, that could have played a part. It says that little dude. It is so cute, but he just looks so sweet in it. Look at you. Look at these little joggers. Oh my God. Guys, what am I going to do with him? He is adorable. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, because I will be um, taking some pictures of him. And, you know, just more of the babies and stuff like that. And um, also, guys, if you want to be a part of the Chatterbox for exclusive live streams, you can join by clicking the link in the description bar. Um, it is $1.99 to join and you must be 18 years old or older to join. Um, I will be, like I said, I'm expecting my baby to arrive today. It may be a possibility that it don't arrive until tomorrow because the way tracking is looking, I don't see it in my hometown as of yet. So unless tracking just all of a sudden update today, I don't, I don't. I'm not, I'm not too positive that it's going to be today. So, um, so between today and tomorrow, there will be a live unboxing of a kit, um, tomorrow. And then I, I don't know when the next one is going to come, to be honest, um, it, it may be another week. It may be two weeks. I'm not sure. Honestly. Um, you'll understand why later. But um, that one. And then I'm, I don't have a date on Finn. I'll, I have an estimate. So I don't know where, where, where I'm at on that as well. So and that's a, it's kind of kind of tricky for me because I don't. I hope that I don't start the little one and then the Finn come. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm going to paint the little one before I paint Finn. Because I want to practice my colors on the little one before I put it on Finn. So that's where I'm going with that. So everything is for learning. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, my God. If you're looking for that baby feel, if you're looking for that realism, silicone babies are just 
amazing. Actually, all the, the babies are because I get really, I love holding certain ones of my babies that I've waited really nicely. And then um, my Hunter, which is the Dwayne by Claire Taylor, he's, he's waited so amazing. I love holding him too. So it's just, I don't know. So I, I think it's all in the waiting and the way that they feel and the size and the sculpt and just everything. So I don't know. I've just been enjoying all my babies. I've been enjoying my reborns a whole lot more than I ever have. And I've, I'm just I'm just excited. And I didn't actually mind him being the only baby. It's just that I wanted something tiny. And I like tiny reborns, but I don't enjoy them as much as I do when they're tiny in silicone so my reborns I like to be at least newborn and up but I am going to get me a tink I am going to paint me a tink eventually because I do like that one and not and like I said not all my babies are for holding but yeah so anyway that's Noah we'll talk to you guys later